Right everyone, welcome back to here. Right, I thought I would discuss with you and show you a small coronavirus kit that you could carry. Uh, this has all the things I think you would need to carry on you if you came across, you know, a situation where you think you could catch it and you weren't prepared. What this is, is a small package you could carry with you that would fit in a jacket pocket I reckon or in a bag easily. Now whether these items are good enough is a different matter. That's why I'd like to discuss it with you. But some of these items can be changed for slightly better items and also I'll link to everything in this. But yeah as I said I think this has got everything you need. So it's wrapped up in cling film just to keep it in a nice small package and if you was you know out and about found out that an area definitely had a coronavirus outbreak or whatever and you know people coughing all over the place you just open this up basically and again you know I don't know what the viability of this would be how, how useful could this be I don't know I won't be offended if you say it's a load of crap it's partly what this video is about to um so that you can tell me what you think of this because I'm not really sure about it but I put it together thinking yeah you know it could be a good kit but is it really so I'll show you what's in it and you can tell me whether you think yeah, you know so anyway there's the kit so you would just literally just rip it open and in here you have some strong alcohol hand sanitizer look up what kind you would need I recommend a little bottle of that some gloves to wear yeah, so you're not touching things. A mask. Try and get the best kind of mask you can, but you want a reasonably small one, otherwise it won't fit in the package. And then the final items are some antibacterial or whatever you would need hand wipes. So, <clears throat> so any hand wipes that can kill the coronavirus, basically, which do exist. So those, again, so you can clean things as you go along. Some duct tape to seal around your mask, a small mirror, and your goggles. So I'll now show you quickly what it looks like wearing it and discuss it. Right, so this is what you would do essentially. So you've put the mask on, put the goggles on, and you've taped up any areas where there could be leaks coming in with the duct tape. You know, this, you can get a gas mask that would do this, but you would not get it in that very small package. There's no mask you could get this small with a visor or these goggles. So this way, you're covering your eyes. One thing I did forget to put in there, you may want, depending on how it spreads, some earplugs or something that will go over your ears. Even a simple hat would work. But this would certainly give you a lot more protection than nothing. You know, it won't be amazing, but this could definitely protect you a lot more than nothing. What, what do you think? You've, you've covered up the majority of the, the gaps. You know, there's going to be a couple, but a lot less than it would be normally. I can see perfectly well, I can breathe through this mask perfectly well. So a quick rundown of what the items are for. So you have the mask, you would obviously wear that exactly how you're supposed to. Then you'd put your goggles on, then the tape and the mirror the tape is to seal up around the glasses, all these gaps all around here, seal it up like it would like a mask, and the mirror is obviously so you can see yourself doing it. This is a little it's just a little uh, portable mirror. And then the other things are the gloves you would wear while touching things, the sanitizing wipes for cleaning things before you touch them if you have to touch them and the same with the antibacterial after you 
take your gloves off, clean your hands with that, take your mask off, chuck it away, you can even clean your face with that. So that's basically how you do it. This would definitely give you some protection in an absolute emergency if you had nothing. You know, the likelihood of coming into a situation where you would need it, I'm not sure really. But I think this would definitely work. All of the areas were sealed. You may have needed to add a little bit more tape just here and here. But I think that would give you an alright level of protection. You let me know. So all of these items will be in the description if you need them. You know, if you wanted to get them. So the goggles, the masks, the type of small masks I would recommend because some are worse than others. This one has the double bands and a foam bit around here so it'll fill up the gap slightly better and you can get even better ones than this that would still flatten out quite small but yeah I think for an absolute emergency thing this kit would be a hundred times better than just a just a mask basically um, this would give you an all-round decent bit of protection, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm up for discussion. If you think it's crap, let me know. If you think it's good, let me know. Uh, wouldn't cost a lot to set up. And as you could see, it was quite a small little package. Yeah, so let me know what you think. So, yeah, before I go, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you ever wanted to support this channel, there's various ways. If you look below, there's Patreon. You can join that for $1 a month or £1 a month. Um, you can use my affiliate links and stuff like that because this channel has been demonetized so you could help me out that way all right but at least like leave a comment and subscribe all right see you later